What can we do for you today, Doug? Well, I had a problem with the uh, windows, and I tried to do a repair with the windows install disc. Okay. And it got halfway through it and failed. Ooh. And I've since fixed the problem to get it up and working, but every okay. time I boot the computer, yeah. it goes uh, into the where it says Windows XP Professional or Windows XP oh, yeah. Professional Setup. Right. Yeah, when it you do to set up. when you do an install on Windows, you know that it does a couple of reboots, right? Well, the yeah. way it makes this work is it modifies the boot.ini file to mm -hmm. say, uh, oh, by the way, when he reboots, run these, you know, run the setup again so that we can finish the setup. So when you when you have an interrupted setup like this, that's going to be that's where that's coming from. It's easy yeah. to fix that. Just what I want you to do is open the System Properties Control Panel. Yeah. And uh, you're going to click the Advanced tab. And under Startup and Recovery, click Settings. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is we're going to modify the boot.ini file. And so you'll see here it says under System Startup, to edit the Startup Options file manually, click Edit. Now, mine's not going to look like yours because mine is a normal startup. It has one line. Yeah. Uh, you know, it says yeah, mine had two lines. Yours has two lines. And they'll be under Bootloader and they'll be under Operating System. You see there's two sections. There's a Bootloader section and there's an operating system section. Yeah. Uh, default is the one that gets run if you don't do anything, and you see there above that there's timeout. That's how long it waits to give you a That's chance. About three seconds or five, five seconds or yeah. something like that. Because it actually yeah. doesn't want to give you a chance. It, what it really is expecting is it will just automatically reboot and continue it on with setup. So yeah. do you have a couple of lines under bootloader? Um, yeah, there's, uh, I had an actual uh, boot.bak file Right. Uh, that somebody pointed me to, and I was just wondering if I could just rename the INI file to yeah, BAK. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I would look at that book. INI. I would look at that book.bak and, and make sure it's doing what you want it to do. Uh, let yeah, me just I've, kind other of. computers that look the same as the BAK yeah, file. Yeah, then that's okay. Uh, it's kind of, you know, arcane, but really what it's saying essentially here is partition one of disk zero. Now, since yeah. this, this computer has two disks, uh, there's zero and one, and you, you probably, in most cases, you're going to want to boot off the zero disk, and, yeah. and almost always the first partition on the zero disk. And then notice it tells me what directory to boot from, which is this backslash Windows. If it's something like that, then that's exactly what it's supposed to say, and that will get rid of that message entirely. Okay. Now, what about this win on a dollar sign, dollar sign win, whatever directory that it put in there? Can I just blow that out of the water? Yeah, you should be able to delete that if you've got a. Right? Yeah. If you've got a good install, I was just asking Sean to make sure. I don't want to say delete it and then find out that your system won't start. If you've got a good install, everything's working now, that's the leftover installer stuff and you can throw that's, it out. That's what I thought yep. too, yeah. Yep. Yeah, it originally started with a Windows update for Internet Explorer 7 that hung. Yeah. You know, so if I it gets stuck in the middle of an install, it's tough to get it back. I actually... Uh, praise you because you've done a good job. If you've been able to get it to boot, you, you've done a good job. This is just a little bit of cleanup left over afterwards. Yeah, like uh, we ended up, uh, what did I end up doing there? Um, took it over to Buddy's place and all of a sudden <laughs> the, uh, when we went to Windows Update page, which I did many times once right. I got Internet Explorer to actually work. Right. And I did, there was no Windows Update, no Windows Update, and then finally I uh, went over to my Buddy's place and it said, oh, there's an update for IE7. Hallelujah. Doug, I thank, I thank you for the call. Yeah. I'm glad you got okay. it fixed. That's all you have yeah. to do to clean up the uh, leftovers. Yeah. Have you ever lost a USB?